Hi everyone, Laravel 5.3 is out and with it we got a change directory structure and our routes file got split up. Well in this video I'm going to have a look at both and see what changed and how we are still able to create routes. So let's have a look at this together. This is the new structure in 5.3 and that's the old structure in 5.2. Great, so see you in the next videos. Nah, seriously. Um, we're having kind of the same structure and it's not like everything changed, but we get two important changes. Specifically, one of them is really important and important to know if you're updating your applications or viewing my old videos and want to use the code in 5.3. The routes, here is 5.2, were previously stored in the app HTTP routes folder here, right? And we had all our routes, up here to the right. Don't need to see them in full because, well, that's just a default setup. I haven't wrote any custom code here. Well, in 5.3 happens to be that the routes are now in their own folder in the root directory. So no longer under app HTTP, but instead here in the routes folder. Now, why do we use a new folder for that? Because we no longer have only one routes file, we have three. What? Well, we don't need them all free all the time. If you write a normal server-side web application where you render your views, like for example in my shopping cart application or my social network series, you would use the web.php file. And indeed, if you open that file, you will see this welcome route you had here on the right in the routes file. So why do we have two new files then? Well, this new split makes it easier to write, for example, RESTful applications with Laravel or any APIs. If you write, create such an API, which means an application which doesn't send views to the server, but instead provides API endpoints for some front ends like Angular 2 to connect with, well, then you would use the API routes file. Why do we have a separate file for this? The reason for this simply is that with this split, it's now easier to apply the middleware we want to apply. And I'm not talking about authentication middleware, which we would have added on our own anyways, but the built-in middleware, like CSRF protection. We don't want that middleware on our API routes, because it's not like our API works. We're not using CSRF protection there, we're not using sessions there. Instead, we need other middleware there, for example, like throttling, sign-up attempts or anything like that. And this split of files makes it easier, as these API routes automatically only get the middleware they should get, for example, the protection or the, the throttling, but not the CSRF protection, whereas the routes in the WebPHP file for our server-side applications, like the ones we, again, built in this, on this channel, still get the CSRF protection middleware and so on. So that's why we have to split. And the third file here, the console PHP, well, this is if you basically create your own console commands. And I'm not going into detail here. Uh, we never did this on this channel. You will rarely do it anyways. But if you do, well, then you can set up specific routes for that here too. So key takeaway, API for RESTful APIs has different, less middleware than the web routes. Web PHP file for your server side, we send a view to the client default applications. That's the routing. There is one other change in the directory structure, which is actually less interesting, but to show it nonetheless, if we compare the HTTP folder here, you'll see that, well, it looks roughly the same. We get this requests folder in 5.2. We don't have it in 5.3. And you will also notice that in the app folder itself, here, we're also missing some files like jobs, listeners, policies, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. The reason for this is these folders will still be created if we need them. But if we have a look at them in 5.2, all these folders are empty anyways. We're not really using them. Here, this request object, we're, we're not use, really using it. If you want to use that, if you create a new job with the artisan command, it will still create that folder in the app folder. So the folder is technically not gone, it's just not shipped by default because it would be empty anyways. But if you use it, it will be created in the same place as it was in 5.2. 
And these are the directory changes and especially the route changes I wanted to talk about. See you in the other videos. Bye.